G'day and everyone welcome back to Bushcraft Tasmania. So it's been about six months since you last saw me and that was due to both my computers crashing as well as my external hard drive which was quite possibly the end of the world but we are back up and running. So first of all I'd just like to thank all my subscribers. Uh, for anyone new watching the channel, welcome. And this is just going to be giving everyone an update as to where the channel's at, um, where I've been, what I've been doing and where the future of the channel is going. So in front of me are some of the items that I've been making over the last six months. So I've been getting into some ferro rod custom handles as well as my first attempt at a custom knife. The materials before you are made from Tasmanian hardwoods. So the ferro, large ferro rod on the left is made from a stabilised myrtle burl that I've polished and sealed with beeswax. Not because I had to, just because it brings up a nice shine and grain in the wood. The same wood was used in the knife, which is a Mora number no. 3 blade blank which I purchased and then I affixed to the wood. The ferro rod on the right is from Tasmanian Hue and Pine. And the great thing about Hue and Pine is it also has a really nice fragrance. So if you don't know much about Hue and Pine, look it up. It's one of those woods that can be used for anything from spoons, to kitchen knife handles as well, it's pretty good at uh, bowls as well. I've also had the opportunity to spend a fair few weekends out in the Tassie bush doing overnighters or uh, sometimes a couple of, couple of days here and there testing out my skills and acquiring some new gear and I'm almost at the end of my acquisition of kit which is great because it means I can concentrate on all the smaller stuff and the the woodcraft skills that most people uh, enjoy whilst they're out there. So YouTube has changed slightly since I uploaded a video. You'll notice a lot of established channels having sponsors or Patreon um, accounts to try and sort of keep their videos progressing. Um, so in terms of the future of this channel, who knows what's going to be happening. But I do look forward to be giving you more videos and of high quality now that I now have access to um, better technology than when the channel first started, which is great. I will be doing a recap on some of the knives that I've already reviewed, just my conclusions, whether I'm still using them now, whether they've been placed in a box somewhere, just based on what I'm doing and what I'm using out in the bush at the moment. For those of you who are also interested, I will be also continuing on with my bush law review and I'll be reviewing my other knife. And that is this knife here, which is the Condor Kepa. This has been slightly modified with a convex scanty grind, as well as sharpening the spine to throw sparks. Now, this right here I can tell you is uh, a much better value for money than the knife I reviewed, uh, the Condor Bush Law with the Micarta scales is a bit too pricey, especially in Australia now, it's even increased in price, as has this knife. You can pick up the blanks for 50 Australian dollars, whereas I purchased this with its amazing sheath. Uh, back in 2012 for the same price. So this here, just a bit of a heads up, 
I find is, is more value for money. And if you'll look at some of the comments regarding my Condor Bush Law review, you'll also see there that I've commented that the Condor Bush Law with the wooden handles is, would have probably been better value for money at the time as well because these were both the same price, $50. Um, some of you may prefer a slimmer handle, which this is. Some of you prefer a beefier handle. But the steel and the materials are essentially the same as, as the Bush Law. It's just that it's a, a, a tapered sort of tang um, to the tip. And uh, when it comes to you, it's just got a micro bevel. So once you've sort of put a, a better edge on it and put a bit of a sharper spine, then, then this knife actually performs really, really well. So I may do a full review of the care part, but um, in the event you're just interested in my conclusions, then uh, you know this is definitely, or at least it, it was, back a uh, better value for money. Um, and yeah, I think this encompasses everything regarding a bushcraft knife at its basis. And this is, this is a, a tool that um, really, at the end of the day, is, is all you need. Uh, this could quite happily do the majority of your bushcrafting tasks, not a problem. It just requires a little bit of modica modification out of the box for it to be utilized well for bushcrafting and feather sticks and, and whatnot. But the great thing I find about the Kepa is because of that taper, if you are gonna be doing things like batoning, it actually allows the steel to flex a bit more, especially with your Australian hardwoods. Um, and that was the one thing that the Bush Law had problems with, um, is that when it was used for hard betoning, it actually bent slightly. So this one, if, if you prefer to do a little bit of harder work, and you're gonna be putting this knife under some stress, then that allows a little bit more flex which I think if you're using hardwoods, especially dry hardwoods, then this knife here is, is going to be um, a lot more of you know, your cup of tea. Well, I'd just like to thank everyone for staying with the channel and for those new subscribers, welcome. So in terms of the future of Bushcraft Tasmania, we'll be seeing a lot more outdoors related um, content. I'll be taking you out where I usually go camping and showing you my setup. Um, we'll be probably concentrating on sort of craft work, wood craft, um, you know, getting that sort of nice edge on a knife, feather stick making, taking a look at the local animals and wildlife and beautiful scenery and uh, maybe some uh, Tasmanian edibles out and about, uh, but it's going to be looking brighter and better and as you can tell by the quality of the videos, um, it's going to be um, much better as well. So thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.